ask you, give me one adjective, one word that is that describes your lives now. And don't think too much about it. Personal and, and, and business. And uh, uh, please, everybody share. And you, even if, when they come around to you, if you feel, oh, well, that, the word's been said, that's fine. But let's have some words. Busy. Okay? Busy as well. <laughs> okay? Busy, busy? Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. You're techie guys. Think. Relax. Relax? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, no, that's good, Craig. I wonder if it's the meal at zero last night. That's <laughs> However, anything else? Extremely pressured. chaotic. Chaotic, good. Yeah. Thanks very much. Pressured. Pressured. Okay, final word. Stress. Okay, thank you. Good. All of that, I think, can be a, a, can be described by the technology, workload, and expectations. Right? So let's look at technology. We're bombarded by information, aren't we? Do we ever switch off? We have so much information coming our way. Mobile phones, iPads, I don't even know what they're called, tablets, and you know, everything, Skype, webinars. My God, you get on, when I get on my PC, the invitations I get to webinars, incredible number of it. Everybody wants to give me information. Stop, I don't want it. I want to choose the information that comes through. But we often don't have the luxury to do that. Okay? I have a client. <laughs> I'm having to wean her off a mobile phone. And she's in her 40s. Okay? <laughs> so she's like this. She came to see me with head and neck and shoulder problems. She's like this most of the day. She's quite lonely, she's quite a lonely life, but this is how she is most of the day. So I'm having to wean her off it. I recently came back from a trekking expedition and there were some youngsters in our group. There was one girl who said she sleeps with a mobile phone under her pillow. When she wakes up first thing in the morning, the first thing she does is she does, as she's sitting up, she was grabbing a mobile phone to check if, what's on it. And if she does wake up in the night, she doesn't very frequently, the first thing she does is check her mobile phone before going to her room. We are technological clearly completely bombarded by everything. So that's it. Workload. Pressurized. Chaotic. Workload. Right. All of you in this room potentially have got partners. Some of you may have children. So with respect to partner, you are intent on having a good quality relationship with your partner. If you have children, you've got to take Johnny to football on Saturday and maybe Evie to ballet lessons as well on Saturday. You have to go to school for the parent teacher association meetings. And if little Johnny is in the nursery, maybe he's misbehaving, so the nursery wants to have a word with you as well. Okay, so that's that. And then you have got work. You come here to work, and yes, you have got bugs to fight and developments to, to undertake. And yes, the customers are shouting at you. So you have got all of that to, to juggle, yeah, causing pressure. And the expectations are that everything you undertake to do, you will do to the best of your ability. Your mistakes are not very well received. You cannot be fallible. You've got to be a perfect human being. How often do we pressurize ourselves with that? How often do we say, oh, damn, I could have done better. Yeah? How often do we take ourselves as we are? Where? Yeah? Very quiet. I don't want this to be didactic, guys. Keep coming back with some ideas. Please, come on. It's terribly boring. When I go to workshops and all I'm expected to sit in this line, my mind travels. Yeah? So please just share. If you don't agree, Shout. So would you think that would you agree that technology work load and expectations lead to huge stresses in our lives? Yes? Yeah, Everybody yeah. agreed on that? Okay. Depends how you use them, doesn't it? Sorry? It depends how you use them, but they can be. They can be. They can be, yeah. Using them appropriately, if you can do it, brilliant. And that's what mindfulness is a technique, a tool to be able to manage all these properly and healthily.